the night like mosquitoes flicker like the walls of a cave like ruby shadows among sharp and loosening stones flicker like a wheel in a rut in my youth i wanted a truck a machine i could run over a man with red swords red stalactites on a cornea too thick to see through time is for now a weapon in the stories, a ruby fire greased the earth, approached with open palms, with caverns blindly snagging, wet light stung their feet. Spice and glass deterred them, likeness furrowed, spit out, heard the fire say, baby, baby. State change. This for which I lavishly ravished, meaning to decimate or make love to, I will always stop to be a beacon, to pick up a coin to tell my brothers, do not walk like snakes. The story is not mine to tell, filled with pressed lilacs, sow the field with teeth, they murdered me on the way to the hill. They sang my praises. Meanwhile, the story is not mine to tell, but when I don't occupy my mind, my mind is occupied. Sorry, I didn't prepare for this. <laughs> Just kidding, I did. Don't worry, it's okay. It's gonna be fine. Um, this is a poem called Fury, and I think it is probably the title poem of my next book, um, whenever that book is a book. Um, let me know if that's a good idea, please. <laughs> Fury. A hum of current like a gander, biting at its feathers, a curious dipole, the voice of the coalition, the voice in a square of pale limestone walls that conceal a magnet. Her arms and legs crawled back to land, my mama, vetiver and carnations on the table with her, her crepe dress, her mouth like a crane's shadow, buried ten years. My wife is there smoking on the dark porch in her nightgown, each pore a magnet, a white pocket, an animal's white eye, a spot of mold. I went into the battlefield, naked and rolled in a wet flag, kissing soldiers, humming, licking the living men. Writing on their armor, I rest my eyelids against their eyelids. The magnets come on, the pleasing light. The coalition swallows and shivers, rolls back on its gristle. I want to go back to my wife. She is there smoking on the dark porch in her nightgown, her muscled thighs mirrored and silver plated, her face the murky surface of a shield. 
Um, if it's okay, I would like to read a poem that I've never read before because it's very new, um, assuming that I brought it with me. This is what I get. Sorry. Thanks for your patience. Um, I've been doing a bunch of readings all over, and I keep printing out the same poems over and over again because I'm like, oh, I have to have that one. And then now I get this big stack. Um, okay, this poem is called Milkshake. And um, it's based on the song by Kalis, which is a really good song that you should listen to, probably. Um, so the left margin of the poem is the chorus of that song. And yeah, um, just imagine she's over here. Milkshake. My eyes a silver sliver and my milkshake and breasts a space under a muscle that brings hip height a hand with gossamer silver chain. All exclusively on grasses, these slender thighs, the most precocious calves of any ungulate, boys like ghost news speaking my history. To hear or caress eight legs or eye the carcassed pines, the busy teat of the mountain, my body's yard, and hear regress or greet, regret or capitalize on it. And they're known for it, even they're known in this dark, like aggregates on short green pastures. It's a flexible arch through which my history skitters. Better you than me, wildebeest, than dropping claves noisily in the dozen up this range with blood. Yours or mine, but mostly O positive. And damn these visitations, these turquoise mine rightward haunt, this even avenue, its regret that pins me here, bettering my glassy plain, I'll rain it better than the unreliable wet season. Mine is the silver tongue, but yours is the tongue that means. I say my history was lost when what I mean was hidden. Can I arch toward egress, teacher glisten, I dare you shriek. And what I mean is burned, not a word out of Germany but rang for the short grasses, rang for the clench of pattern. I'd say my history was lost, but mean I have to say it, spit out facts like come to reconsider I'm charged with chlorophyll. Thanks for being my test audience. Um, I'm just gonna read a couple more new poems. Don't wanna take up all of your evening. Frequency. You don't need to walk through the desert. See with your mouth instead the outer edge of the camp tooth lit like bright bezel licked by sharp-eyed girls. For sake of stirring like diamonds, breezy nations fault wading through the pool at dark. In a grid of lightning, your heart is just your heart, a cannibal morph, the noise of concept. Spotted hyena limping in the high grass. You don't need to walk through the desert. Bite with your eye instead, forsake warm rain, girls like thunder, like radio waves, like a shadow under a palm, for your mother, the lignotuber. Okay, had it with new poems. Um, this book came out about six months ago now, um, and I still haven't found a typo in it, so, whew, um, really, dodged a bullet there. Um, yeah. The Bay of Butter. Lord, I was made irradiated, radiant, knitted. I'd shelled out a count, eked of white and shallow, eked out of coconut, my lover in his grass skirt leaned upon primordial felt. Lord, I'd failed. Skin then sand flecked, godless hip, a pistol's pearled handle, rewound to nothing. Here's capacity, here's star washed wind, the bay, arrival. My soul was a smoke soul anyway. No piston was I, no ram with sour sheen, glassy cloud that touches water, the bay with lamprey's teeth, a liquid trigger. Homeland. Always had in front of pain aluminum 
blunted, a slab, a fog, a shield, whatever. He shook her heart the day the tiger was seen, turning the bathroom with both hands he pressed his privilege on. Madison said she touched his arm, the leper's arm that thrust through the wall of falling cream, through albumen and sea salt the devil entered, dressed in skin, while the woman in his voice called the baby started back. Mission. Sat, invented wet earth, sponged and flushed, the brain is a knot, pain gets caught on. The actual other hand, the mercy canal within the actual throat, as if fleeted silver, that Hancock I sewed to you, felt those limes, those pearled fleshes. The present time is, in fact, an honest glancing piece of equipment. Fields of cane, those slumping mountains rolled in oil. Frost fair. Immediately, the ghost. Mother in her hairnet and ice skates and the partial animal at the water's edge, its head frozen under. The vendors are selling oranges and lemons and salt cod on the ice, shouting at mother to buy white ribbons. The bunting hung about the king's huge ox, heavy roasted in its juice and strung on the spit, a burst of colored pennants on tents pinned into the river. The ghost reclined against a barrel, leaning out for mother's hand, feeling for its fragile pressures. I'm just going to read one more poem. And thank you for your patience and for listening and for helping me celebrate these other writers. Sit happy birthday. Easter. The police came. I got my beans from a small island, thinking of you and the baby. Seagulls eating the bulk of a whale. Its delicate bones projected through a flat drum of skin, gray streaked with salt and glut of smooth inner coil. The police were infinitely calm. The island lit. Whale rolled back. Nobody could look away. You must be 30 now still plump, carrying that milk scope, that crisp area of lobe, your second sight. Thanks.